Hi all, welcome to the Player of the Year for the Elite Sierran, which is the Norwegian League. This is potentially a half decent looking card that we could be looking forward to in terms of like ratings. It's a bit maybe potentially higher, but at the same time it depends on of course how this plays out. So if we can smash the likes, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And hit that notification bell so you know when uploads are up on the channel. So for play of the year for the Elite Sierra, and there's a few standout options. Um, and two of them that I'm going to focus on for this video are Borvin and Ekrum. Now Ekrum is the one that appeals to me more solely because Molda are top of the league, they are looking set to be champions and Ekrum has had a very very good season and I would say when you look at his goals and assists which is practically pushing double figures for both and um, despite strikers being very impressive as well if you've got a midfielder that is producing 10 goals and practically 10 assists a season, at least regardless of regardless of your league, I would say that is quite appealing. And the good thing is as well that he is a gold of 75 rated as a base card and he would go to an 84 if he was to happen. Now in terms of the breakdown that you see on screen, as we kind of previously mentioned with the um, Electricity League, the Irish League, the way that we think they would go, for a, go about it for the objectives is they will focus on the nation, so you like so in Ekrum's case it is Norway, so you'd probably have like ten or twenty goals. Could be squad battles. They might do a bit of rivals. You never know. They might decide to change it up, and um, just to kind of annoy us. But you never know. But at the same time, for an eighty-four rated card, it's not exactly the hardest thing. To, and at the same time, it's not necessarily going to be the most appealing card to go for. But I would say in Ekrum, Ekrum. I hope a Norwegian folk that them um, I know um, can keep me out. Keep me right with this one. Like he would be quite appealing. Like eighty-seven to break down his stats: of so seventy-five pace, seventy shot, eighty-seven pass, eighty-four dribbling, fifty-seven defending, sixty-one physical. We've roughly gave him like plus nine, plus ten boosts across the card. Like we would, have, we would fundamentally um, think that's what they would do. Like you would at least want to make him usable. And I would say with half decent passing and dribbling, it's at least a card where your Norwegian. Fans, especially the, of the league, will be delighted to see. Oh, an 84 rated card that is now the best player from Norway. This actually could be quite a fun little card to use, especially those that like to do like nation squad builders. It's like best possible of that nation, and Norway now suddenly could have an 84 rated card up in Cam. And especially when you've got like Josh King, it would kind of have quite a good front. You could have quite a good front three there, like like a four three one two. So. You might have the Elite Sierra in itself for the um, objective, so like 10 or 20 goals. I can't see Molda featuring as like a team, that's why they'll do the Elite Sierra in. But with Norway as well, that's where you could easily just go Josh King, or if it's squad battles, and it's as long as it's semi pro or pro, whatever it may be, if it's squad battles, you could easily just go, you could just go Akram or. Uh, any Norwegian striker and just be like, right, let's go and buy 10, 20 goals in. Boom, that's the objective done. Unlock the card. And you'd be kind of sorted. If it was as an SBC, um, as we kind of mentioned before, like I can't see them going. Like last year when we got the, as I said last year, it was just Paulinho of BK Hakim was the only one that was at SBC. The rest were all objectives. And I think they'll do the same again. I can't see them going any of them being a, um, an SBC because objectives can be a little bit more, they're more time consuming and for some people they can be done in an hour, some might take a day, some might take five minutes depending on how easy the objectives are. Like SBC wise I would imagine it would be like a, it would be a 70, 80 rated squad, the SBC will set you back like 15, 10, 15k to do, you'll need like one elite share in, you'll need one um, you might need, I can't see them one Molder because they'll just do like one or two Elite Sierra one or two from Norway and then it's just a case of building like an 80 rate squad. Like that's where Hansen and Akram, because they're the gold within the league, would prove the most handy. So we'll see how it plays out, but at the moment Ak Mag Magnus Wolf Akram looks a strong candidate. Now the other option that may happen is Borvin. 
He's got nearly 20 goals this season. He's currently standing 18 goals and 5 assists. Now, could he happen? The question I would be saying to myself is yes. Well, Odd are currently sitting in third in the table. They've kind of dr um, drifted off a little bit. They have still been very, very impressive this season. If they were to go the striker option of him, he would be about an 81 rated card. And he wouldn't necessarily be the most appealing, I will admit. For the simple reason is he's not got the like kind of pace stats. He like, would have half decent shooting, but he would like he's not the type of card that would necessarily appeal. Like in same vectors as we would show for Akram, like his pace would be eighty four, shooting eighty five, sixty nine passing, eighty one dribbling. 41 defending, 79 physical. Like, I wouldn't say he's the most appealing card to go for, but Magnus is the more appealing option that they kind of rock with. Because, at the end of the day, it comes down to the Norwegian vote. Because previous winners of the Norwegian Player of the Year has been like Regenison. We've had um, Hansen last year, he was at 82, wasn't exactly. Um, the most appealing, but it was just handy SBC fodder. See, and to be honest, an 84, like 8 crumb, if there was a SBC that we just kind of needed out the road, he would suddenly prove very, very useful to just throw him. Oh, we can just throw him in. That's all he would be, as long as you're not going to obviously do it as, as an SBC. But what they would, I think what you might also find with the play of the year objectives, and I, I forgot to say this with the Irish one. Is if they were not like for, like while they may look necessarily unappealing cards because of like eighty ones or eighty fours or eighty twos, depending on the base stats that they're they're now at like the, the card stats, what they may do is they like while we're seeing squad battles or foot friendlies or something else that may be um easily forgotten about is they could easily make the objectives a little bit harder so that the rewards in return are a bit more worthwhile. So like you could be getting an 84 rated card in Akram's case, but you might get three packs, it might be say a gold pack, a premium gold pack, and a jumbo premium gold pack, we'll just say for talking sake, or Electrum players packs, or whatever. But then you may have the um, XP boost as well, so you're maybe getting 300 or 450 XP on top. But the way I feel they would go, like, objectives is the way they're probably going to go about it. It's how they structure it. They may not necessarily even just go the same um, way, um, like each time. They might change each one about. Like they might not necessarily just go with the nation. They might go the position of that player. So because Akram or Borvin are cams or strikers, they might make it like midfield maestro. So it might be. 10 or 20 assists so that's what you've also got to factor in as well that's why for this we've tried to show um, goals, assists and the same for the elite sharing they might, they might try and bump them up objective wise to try and make it that little bit harder by the week because they know by the time you get to say MLS or the Chinese Super League you're getting to a, a league where it's a high rated card, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be maybe... It might start off at like two or three objectives, but by the time you're getting to your MLS Chinese Super League is when it's like six. Six or seven objectives and it's when it's going to be a bit more trickier, it's going to be a bit more time consuming, and this is when you might see that difference. And this is where I think you may see it here. This might be the... F like, if Akron wins, they may go four. And that's why... Um, eventually get there about nine minutes later it, even though we've shown it on screen for practically since the get-go so we get in the end but I feel it will be the they could easily go goals or assists and then of that nation and obviously the league but your players that you'd end up getting to use would be like your Akram, Joshua King um, you might even use like a Borvin or someone else that's like a um, Norwegian striker or in within that league. But we'll see how this all keeps playing out. As I said, I'm just trying to give you an idea just now, so that way you're at least prepared come the time of the awards. 
So hopefully you find this useful folks as always. Let me know in the comments down below, does an 81 Borvin, an 84 Magnus Wolf Akram appeal to you in any shape or form? Smash the likes as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is Legend. Take easy all, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.